Hello everybody, welcome to my first round CCL playoff match against Kian Dare with Dark Elves. Um, I bought a reroll, so I've got four rerolls for this, so I can definitely reroll pickups and everything and reroll uh, dub skulls and not have to worry about reroll conservation whatsoever. Um, it might be very relevant against Elves willing to throw everything at it because he has got a terrible team. Um, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a really good record. He's won 20, drawn 7, lost 3, but um, obviously he's lost all of his good players recently. Um, so he's pretty up shit creek. But, you know, he's going to get a wizard and Eldrill. So he's going to have he's gonna have things that he can do. Um, but Skuro's going to do the commentary, and uh, I, shall, I shall, you know, go silent to try and concentrate on everything. So take it away, Skuro Metal! Uh, hello everyone, this is uh, round one I assume of the CCL playoff season something. It's up there. There's a lot of them. But uh, yeah, had I looked at this Dark Elf team when Jim asked me to commentate, I probably wouldn't have bothered. This one should be an absolute slaughter, but Kian Dare is a very good coach. Dark Elves can roll two pluses and win the game, so you never know. And Jim can always throw the game away with terrible dice, regardless of his four re-rolls. So we'll be waiting this one for at least half a half a uh, half a half a half, half of a half of Blood Bowl before we toss out an early GG and give up on it. Let's see what's gonna happen here. We we got three journeymen, a wizard, and Eldrill. It's exactly what Jimmy was expecting. Uh, and there's more to come. Maybe he's trying to find a way to buy a second wizard there. He just keeps mashing it. Oh, just adding a lineman. Maybe a level two. Maybe he's uh, going to level someone up. Maybe not. Yeah, he must have. because Oh, no, and a babe. Okay. Lineman and a babe. That lineman must be level two then. Curious what he put on him because he doesn't want to go with dirty player Come with no on, bench. Jimmy, let's ho champ I guess he'd no have hate. a bench. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Would it? Would it woof? But that was a hundred because he had hundred and fifty left, and he got a babe as well. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Maybe I can't do math. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. Well, there's some L drill action. And Jim wins the toss, picks offense, looking to delete half this team in the first. Oh, wait, maybe he doesn't pick offense. Jim picking defense again. He heard me. Must have heard me and been like, I can't go with whatever Skurro wants because that's a terrible idea. And in fairness, he's not playing to win the SFL right now, so he shouldn't listen to my expertise, which is limited to that obscure league. Evening Fox Mania. Oh God, Elps here too. <laughs> and look at that, some niceties. Kiander, a lovely guy. Maybe uh, trying to suck up to Jim early on, lull him into uh, you know a pity, uh, you know a pity moment where he doesn't want to drop the hammer on the elves. Yeah. <laughs> I am stuck under the bench. <laughs> yeah, J5. <laughs> Jimmy's definitely not going to be LGF him. He hasn't been LGF in a long time. And here we go. Jim uh, opting for a very unique and uh, not often seen uh, defensive standpoint that he likes to call the rule of fives. I believe uh, it was invented by a different streamer named Andy Davo. And uh, Jim has really kind of co-opted it for his own activities. But we're going with the rule of five here. Uh, again, you don't really see this one come out too often. So we'll see if it pays off for him.
Yeah, Kingslayer, knock it off with the with the uh, sound effects because I can't hear when they're going off because I'm not watching the stream and I'm recording audio for Jim's YouTube. <laughs> so I'm just going to be talking under him. So shut the fuck up. The gym boat. The gym boat would have been good, but, you know, it was named the Rule of Five. Because there's five guys in the back. And so, yeah, with all of the, uh, yeah, actually, I didn't even think of that. With all the inducements, uh, with Eldril and the extra and the extra uh, linemen, that does give him a bench of two. Um, and of course, he's got the Apo and the Babes, so maybe hoping to have somewhat of a full team uh, on defense in the second half. Uh, and I think his probably his best bet, unless he gets into real big trouble early on here, would be uh, for Kiander to just to just go for that eight turn grinding score. Uh, no real sense in pushing it down and then giving uh, Chaos plenty of time to just murder the team and level it. Bosley in Twitch. I don't. I don't think I get that. <laughs> Dog, I think I'm well within my rights to do that. I have my own Twitch. I just don't stream much. I'm too busy streaming for Jim. And here we go, right off the bat, this is exactly what Jim didn't want to see, getting get out bashed by Dark Elves. This is Kiander's best path to victory here. Instant, and there it is, instant mega, oh, comedy dicing. Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. One man off the pitch, but just a KO. Drops the GG. Yeah, Flicky, you really took it in a different direction with your uh, with your stress streams versus my uh, my chill streams. Everyone's getting tossed off tonight, Steve. Especially if Jim wins it, he'll toss us all off. Oh, Bezel streams more than me. I mean, maybe not recently. But if you think about it, EAP is like present in every live stream in Blood Bowl, so that's basically like Bezel is always streaming. <laughs> it's chaos in here. <laughs> All right, here comes the Blitz on the Warrior here. Look out for that kick wrestler. Just a push. Ah, yeah, zero kill power here from the uh, from the Dark Elves. So Jim's got to like that. And they, it's going to make him feel really good about taking that L LOSKO as well. Every fucking time. Glorious. No, I won't give in. And pretty, uh, pretty I'm standard uh, first turn for the Dark Elves. Defend. About what you'd expect for a team defend. like this. Not going to put anyone in connection Don't with Jim. Jim's going to, uh, unless he can Go really uh, trap him in, Jim's going to get one block a turn uh, for this first half drive. Oh, and Moradam, thanks for uh, subscribing. Forty-four months. I saw there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of jabber in the JFW chat. Looks like Cock and Ball Torture might be going after Jimmy Min Max Tastic, your Wemdope champion. Oh, and there we go. One block, one break. Doesn't get him off the pitch, though. Will he pile on? Might not want to risk piling on here. Jim's pretty conservative about his piles on. Could get himself fouled with that Dark Elf bench. That would be a good player 
for Kian Dare to get off, and, if, and sure enough, he is not going to uh, to to pile on there. <laughs> Mad Men. Uh, none yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for Friday. Stand firm. Hold the keep. I was uh, I was uh, previously occupied this week, so I, I wasn't able to follow up from uh, uh, from fast lane. But uh, I'm sure we'll find more on. Uh, I'm sure we'll find more on Friday. I I don't know that I did, but I believe it. J five. <laughs> thank thank you <laughs> and here comes dark elf turn number two uh they might be in trouble here jim doing a very good job of uh pretty much make giving him no options in terms of hits maybe he can hit that guard mighty blow goat there and then dodge away but he certainly doesn't want to leave people and see this could be a mistake here He's gonna come over and hypno gaze to hit that claw mighty blow. He might lose Eldril. No, oh, not yet. Uh, Friday, Steve. Steve Motti. I'm sure we'll hear more on Friday because we haven't really thought about it. Jim. Si je me souviens bien. If we're tracking, if we're tracking how the WWE's storylines that we're ripping off for all of the JFW content goes, Vince dies in the limo explosion, and then the very next episode is right after the Benoit tragedy. So we'd have a so the WWE did the Benoit tribute show, only to find out that he was a monster, and then never uttered his name again after their tribute, and then they just erased the. The Jimps, or the Jimmy, blah, excuse me, the Vince death scene completely and never talked about it again. So we'll probably, we'll probably function someone somewhere in there. We just need to see which one of you maniacs, like, goes on a murder spree in the next week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Ansi. But like, I mean, you can be is anyone surprised anytime. by that at all? Oh, baby, Dimmy, fucking G. <clears throat> Some of those guys are probably watching ads right now. But welcome aboard, Dimmy G, raiding in with sixteen people to watch Jim get diced out by Dark Elves. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. There we go, Jim, taking a big hit here to a warrior. Not a break. I like the way Kian Dare managed this to get two, two blocks here. Didn't get him anything, but nice strong position on the right side there. coach. <laughs> Uh, someone who's a mod can do that. I'm not a mod, nor do I know how to do the gambling at all anyway. But I, th I don't think it's too early in the game to write this off. You could, you could still bet on Jim or Jim or Kian Dare here. Bezel around? Bezel's Bezel's a mod, isn't he? Jim just looking to keep applying the pressure. We're not seeing the full DACA here, which is good. I fucking hate I hate it. DACA, DACA, whatever. Um so yeah, Kian Dare kinda playing it safe with the ball. Seeing where Jim commits to.
<laughs> I saw a Don I saw what a Don said. I said, like, oh God, what did Backyard Dota say? But yeah, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty rough stuff. And this time he is going for the pylon. He's still thinking about it. Will he commit? He really wants some damage in, but he wants his players up. He is outnumbered right now. And no, he's going to stay connected still, piling on. You know, again, I don't want to sound like purple chest here, but like this is the failing of pile on as a skill. Obviously, the removal numbers are good, but you got to put your player on the ground to make it work. And Jim, fight, you know, against against the uh, an agile team like Dark Elves, not really wanting to do it and also not wanting to risk getting fouled. I just, I mean, Flicky, I just know when people will talk nonsense. There's not, I mean, if anyone thinks Brady's overrated, they're fucking idiotic. <laughs> Mike Brady. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Clan joke. I don't know if you're making fun of him for Rebel or something. So that's that one's not carrying more, Dan. Or is, is he part... Are you in the same clan as Kiander? I mean... All rich people are pricks, Flicky. Yeah, see, again, like, people who just spew nonsense like Elp just back up. Just reinforce how little I have to care about about word language like that. Uh, he, well, he, he actually bought a 4-3 roll to start this game and then got one at the kickoff. So he's going full-on CCL shitter mode. See if he can get himself up to 8 here by, by uh, overtime. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Mama B. Yeah, no, he certainly won't, Satterfield. But his point was this. It's like having the fourth reroll lets him be like, I'm just going to pick the ball up. I don't care if it's not in danger. And I understand that. Like, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, folks, I think this is a preview of our lives for the next half hour. Just going to be little pot shots from the Dark Elves until they try and push forward and score real quick. Uh, on t Well, real quick on turn eight. Uh, you're not going to see them taking any risks. They're just going to stay disconnected as they can. And really, uh, it's going to be on Jim to get his one blitz to remove an elf before Jim starts feeling confident enough to pressure heavily because he is down a man right now. That was that was Tom Brady elf, but I'm not going to I'm not going to go through fucking deflate gate now. The whole thing was idiotic. But it. Ultimately, without without uh, without what about ism it is isming too much, a practice that is pretty well well known, <laughs> pretty well known by most quarterbacks to care care a little bit about ball psi was uh, was probably being managed in a very underhanded and shitty way by the Patriots because they're far too clever by half for their own fucking good, and ultimately it all came down to a bunch of nonsense. And everyone just used it as an excuse to hate on the Pats and Brady, which is they're right. I understand if I didn't if I didn't live in New England and root for them, I'd probably hate on them too. No, it was a turn one. It was a turn one uh, LOS removal, dankest meme, just uh, straight up uh, KO, just a KO though. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, JFAD. Du 
Anyway, Jim in with his blitz again. Claw palm in and not piling on again. Yeah, Jim is just waiting for the natural armor break for the pile on. He's probably not really thinking about it otherwise because he just wants to keep the elves on that side of the field. Yeah, I mean, that that's more it, J5, is, like, I, honestly, like, a lot of this stuff they do is, like, it's just stupid. It doesn't even, like, it, it's, all it does is open them up to people, like, asking questions about what the fuck they're doing without really giving them any sort of competitive advantage that any of those players care about. It's all nonsense. It's, it's just stupidity. You know, like the Spygate thing with the, the the filming, everyone reacted to the Pats getting uh, getting getting uh, called out on that, and uh, I don't know. I grew up watching football, watching coaches covering their mouths with their clipboards in the '80s and '90s. It's like you just assumed that that was always a thing. Obviously, the Pats took it to a different level there, but you know, this is like all these things that like have always been accepted and, and going on and then here you are yeah but like literally j5 my entire life my and i'm sure you're the same you know every coach would always cover their mouths when they were talking because they had people with binoculars and cameras in the stands it's a given uh, Jim's just trying to keep him back. I think Jim Jim doesn't really give a shit what the elves are doing if they're not crossing the uh, the you know the the midline there because you know as if they can't score in a turn, he's not really concerned about what they can do. You you know that tackle mighty blow block uh, blocker right on the LOS there. He's never gonna have an elf behind him uh, by Jim's design. I mean, unless one runs by on a turn, but that's his sweeper. He's back there for, for the emergency potato breakaway. Yeah, I know. I know, J5. I said that same thing during the season. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. What uh was that a soccer was that a soccer thing, Ancy? That's pretty excellent. Oh, rugby. Rugby, okay. Yeah, some, some, of the, some of the NFL flops, you don't see them as often, but when they're trying to milk the clock and, like, players go down for injuries, it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> it, it's just part of the game. Anyway, part of this game... <laughs> it's a bunch of dark elves dodging away and keeping the ball relatively protected. He is going to run out of room behind him. And because, because he's not set up and, and officially doing the full on DACA, he's not really getting the advantage of being that far back. Now ball is safe, but he's still taking hits. He's not really protecting his players all that well. Uh, streams running for me, Steve. Oh, I'm not watching the stream actually. No, it looks good. <laughs> Jesus, J5. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to engineer another block there on the warrior, but he didn't follow. Interesting. I guess he wanted to protect in the middle of the field there from that other warrior. But he had another block. He did have another block on offer. If he brought Eldril around, he could have blo blocked that uh, lower, uh, lower chaos warrior. But he's going to dodge out instead and maybe try and get a downfield threat. No, he's going he's gonna to want it. Oh, he snaked it, actually. 
Had the dodge re-roll, but snaked it. And this could be a pretty good turn for Jim here. He's going to get several blocks now. And this is where things could get really sticky for Kiandere. Yeah, a break here and a KO. Now, there is a babe in play, but the KO going to stand for the offense at least. I heard about that, Ansi. That I could not have been fucking happier to read that. Oh, yeah, we got to... Sorry, U.S. diplomats. We got to shove this thing up your ass to check you for COVID. Oh, we really meant to do it uh, a nasal pharyngeal, but accidentally we did it rectally. Oops. My bad, Chinese government says. Fantastic. Absolute fantastic. And so here you go. That safety going to drop back even more. Palm hit coming in a minute. Is he going to go for the Rackler or is he going to go for the under? Uh, yeah, he's going undefended. 3D, he's got him. This could be a good pile on for him. Nope. Doesn't break. Not going for it. There's a lot of restraint by Jim here. And look at this nice blitz coming in here to shore up that, uh, that left edge. And another armor break. Oh, does get the break there. Didn't use Mighty Blow. Still not going to pile. He really, at this point, just wants to stop any downfield break. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he paid for it. He's on the ground one way or the other here. But he's got five rerolls. Five rerolls in five turns. That's why he's got the five, everyone. <laughs> That would have been pretty classic if he had snaked that and lost his palmer or something. Well, the elves can roll a bunch of dice and try and cage up at midfield, and they got to start thinking about that. Dark elves, you know, not the slowest team on 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 uh, in the game, but not the fastest elves either. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Jim was uh, thinking it's modern rules and uh, he's got to use a reroll for it. That's why he stacked up all his rerolls. I mean, I think he's been right every time in not piling on. It's just more a matter of why the fuck even have that skill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, J5. <laughs> Jim will be a lot more loose with that piling on in the second half if he keeps this at nil-nil. Oh, hey, J5. Elp says hi. Oh, he's going to go the long way. He's going over to the right side. Probably a little bit more open field there, but he's going to stretch himself pretty th thin to get anywhere... Uh, Useful. Yeah, there's a couple GFIs in that uh, ball carrier's future, I think. <laughs> oh, you're really going to make me commit to this, aren't you, J5? Elp, you left your uh, syphilis medication at uh, J5's house again. Hello, Famir. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Envy. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Fame here. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not continuing this game, damn it. <laughs> you got you got your two. You each got your two. Although what the fuck is a prison wallet? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Never mind. No. Nah, I I I, I figured it out on my own. I figured it out on my own. Oh no. I walked right into that one. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> no, I really didn't. It took me a couple seconds to. <laughs> yeah, and now Jim's just gonna fall back. It's gonna be really hard for the Dark Elves to score here. <laughs> that isn't. That wasn't my next thought. No elf. <laughs> Nah, he didn't. No, he didn't do a full daka. He he kind of half, he kind of midwayed it, but he wasn't based up. You know, he was taking his hits. He was a little bit more aggressive, um, but again, the numbers are even. Uh, each coach is only down a player on the pitch right now, and uh, the dark elves are pretty lucky for that. But they really want to score because they're going to take a ton of damage next half. Uh, if you're looking at the team builds. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone's. I don't think anyone's uh, talking shit about. Ki Kinder is a good coach. I don't think that's in doubt. And the hit is in. No tackle though. Yeah, well, I think that'll change in the second half if it's a 0 0 game, J5. He wants to cover that corner there, but it involves bringing his safety up. That could be a risk. Because he, he does have a couple threes and twos to get elves down the pitch and in scoring range, and that's really all he you know, that's really all he needs at this point. It's very unlikely Kiander is gonna have any interest in using the wizard this half. And uh, you know, if 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 he is a fan of Jimmy's, like he said he was, he should know the longer you hold the wizard, the worse Jimmy will play. Yeah, that's possible, Elp. That's possible. I, I just think after a after, you know, at least one one set of LOS hits, Jimmy could really open the game up with his claw claw mighty piling on nonsense. Looks like there might be some action to get centralized for the Dark Elves here, but mm, it's a little scary. Oh, baby. The Raiders continue. Hey, k Fogged and the k Fogged folks. Uh, k Fogged, uh, uh, I think Jim wanted you in the booth at some point. So if you want to hop in with us, we're in commentary. Hey, Myers. Hey, Lean Gary. Yep, so he's going to get a little more central. And again, it, it feels like he's running out of time. It is only turn six, so he's still got a shot here. Maybe he doesn't want to be rolling dice without <laughs> finishing that cage, though. Yeah, no worries, k -Fug. 
He'll bring Timmy with it. No, notice I didn't invite Timmy in when he raided. You're good, J5. Oh, he's going that way. He must want that, that Rackler downfield more. Downfield, he's not going to get very far. So with a hypno gaze and, and some dice, he could get a pretty deep score threat. It doesn't look like he's going for it, though. Looks like he's just trying to get everyone centralized here. Ooh, one's the dodge. Not against tackle, though. <laughs> J5. <laughs> Key in there baiting a surf here that Jim probably won't take to eat up a uh, eat up a blitz. Yeah, yeah. Key in there noted uh, noted goblin player. That's I was thinking about that earlier. I forgot if it was goblins or ogres. He's had a few good runs in the playoffs with those teams, I believe. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. Good coach. And there we go, that tackler and also the wrestler down as uh, safeties now. Oh, nice little push play here. Might not pay off, though. And now that's going to give him a way to hit the ball if he wants it. I don't know that he cares that much. Because it would involve, I believe, a 3-plus dodge. Yeah, he's probably not going to take that. Oh, no, there's a sidestepper anyway. So, yeah, he's not going for that. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. K Fogged in the house. How you doing? Were you playing some CCL earlier? Um, I was like, I was, and then I got uh, caught out by, I was going to cast PC versus, versus fight, Dwarf versus Kislev. I might still be laughing because that was hilarious. Oh, how that did it? How did it go overall for them? Uh, PC winning uh, in overtime two one. Nice. But it was so fun. Like Kisler was doing multiple two dice uphills, <laughs> but turn fifteen where he had three two pluses to get two dice, he tried like a one man screen instead. Oh jeez. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh man, all pushes there for Jim. Was hoping to get a uh, was hoping to get her on the floor and probably could have dodged and hit the ball. Don't think uh, that's on offer anymore. So what are we um Oh, uh, we got a real we got a real thriller here, PC. It's uh excuse me, PTK. It's uh <laughs> Jimmy with his murder team against uh, a, a dark elf team that looks like it lost all its star players right before the playoffs. Uh, so he was down about 400 something TV. Mm. Wizard in hand, Eldril on the pitch, uh, a bunch of bunch of loners. But it's uh, even even on the field on turn seven. Both coaches have only gotten a single KO. And they. And it's not looking that bad, actually. He still got reroll, right? So it's just a tr which way is he scoring, actually? <laughs> yeah, he's. I mean, he's got. I mean, he's got to get into scoring position now if he wants to. It's a little tight for him, uh, but he, you know, he's got that wizard, so he doesn't have to score. Uh, but he sure, sure would love to. Uh, and from from where Jim's standing, he's got to be a little frustrated that he hasn't gotten more elves off the pitch. Yeah. Uh, but he hasn't really. I mean, the you know, Kiander's played it pretty pretty safe. He's only been giving up you know a block or two a turn. Uh, hasn't been doing anything too crazy. Didn't DACA, but came close to the DACA uh, with his offense. But he's pretty stuck in now. I'd be surprised if he's able to score here. 
Yeah, Jimmy has not yet piled on. Whoa. I know. <laughs> okay. But because because he hasn't, he's in this uh, pretty strong position defensively. I assume. But as with some tree pluses, it's not. It's he can that one can get around. He can uh, tree plus, tree plus two plus. Uh, the, the dots tackle out of that mess. He got the wrestle dots that can come forward. He could get in scoring range with a little sideline gate. One, two, three. Might even go for the one dice to make everything easier. One yep. gets it. Now he can definitely get in scoring range. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Ooh. Yeah, now now he's going to be in scoring range and have a pretty good defensive cage. Uh, you know, risk or reward there, paying off. There's still a lot of dice to be rolled, but Eldred could, yeah. uh, could dodge out and it could hypnogate as well to make it even easier to get everybody out. Absolutely. Eldril could do a lot of favors for the for for the Dark Elves if he got that beast man who's in the way, Hypno Gazed. Yeah, if he can hypno that, then yeah, the whole block of tree can get out easily. Yeah, and that that's what he's looking to do here. But he wants to be further down. He doesn't want to do it in that square, because that square's gonna cut some movement. One, two. But he, oh, actually, Eldred can run true. Eldred can run the whole way on the backside and do it from the backside. And yeah, be absolutely. slightly in cage as well. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can go all the way to like the square on the outside square. No, he's not. Uh, he's getting a little low on time here. We might uh, see some frantic moves here at the end of this turn. I really don't understand why we're not doing the Eldril first. Yeah, I know. I, I, I agree. We need to get in scoring range. Okay. Why are we not just? Are we not? Are we not hypnogazing them? Sure, I think he's one. Yeah. Whew. Are we just caging with Eldred? Why are we not just mm. hypnogazing? Yeah, hypnogaze would have made this a lot easier for him. It looks like he might but pull okay. it off anyway. Yeah, three plus two plus. Oh, it's oh. a snake! Oh. There's the snake. All right. Well, he's got sidestep and he's on the edge there, but there's a tackler just waiting to hit him. But that's that's old. That's kind of almost rough in the end, though. Yeah, that's pretty bad luck. But he, I think he could have handled that better. Yeah, that seemed like a lot of extra work. <clears throat> you can't serve from Lean Gary's sidestep. And that will listen scoring range. Yeah. Actually, is the ball in scoring range right now? I don't have the client open. I'm just watching Jim's screen. Yeah, it is. Is he one shot? He is? Okay, oh. I was going to say. <laughs> it is in. It, it can't score. It's, uh, but it needs both go for it. But yeah, I think it, it, it was a weird route after he did all the first hard work. Yeah. Here comes the beast. Oh, gets the pow. He's got to maybe go up next to Eldril. Hope Eldril catches the ball yeah, here. Yeah, Eldril do help. On top of actually having cats. Yeah. He's yeah, that's go what for he's that. going for. Doesn't nope. get a shot at it. <laughs> but sure, Hans is there to pick it up. Yeah, pick it up, hand off to Eldril. And uh, yeah. it, pray. <laughs> yeah, and but the threat is there. Dimmy's absolutely right, yep. amazingly. The threat is there that Jim can counter score here if uh, the elves get a little sloppy. <clears throat> Woo! There's your kill. Is that just on a rando? Apo in immediately, and it's an injury. Jim getting his removal. Oh, that was a blocker. the fuck is that for Apo in a playoff game? Yeah, that's a rough Apo. 
Every, uh, the but, dead guy. It's not very why, likely. Why are you trying to save one of your few non-skilled players you have left? Yeah. Well, I think he just wants the numbers on the pitch at all, but that's not the one you do it to, I think. That's terrible. <laughs> You're such a savage. <laughs> well, Jim, uh, Jim making use of his five re-rolls for this game. He had four to start. Got one off the kickoff. <laughs> He's down... So uh, anyone who's making fun of that, myself included, uh, can <laughs> eat a dick, I guess. But yeah, it's a bit weird he was running so low in time in the end. It looked like he had actually planned that turn well in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and then he just seemingly run out of good ideas when everything worked. It was like he was not fig I think he didn't believe all the one the two one dice will work. Before the dark elf. He like he looked like he was almost caught by surprise that it actually worked. Hmm. Uh, elp is uh taking a pro cannibalism stance here in a shocking development. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was a nice idea. Yeah, fair, enough. I, yeah, fair enough. With, yeah. I just think Eldril could have maybe cleared the spot better, but I, I understand wanting to get him into scoring range too. Uh, but yeah. I think he could have got more elves down to protect if he'd given up Eldril as a scoring threat. <laughs> I guess I didn't. Can you get? Has Jim left a? Ch no. Oh, he's no, dead. He yeah. No, I was think thinking he had left a chain on here, maybe. But yeah, maybe he's just got to do this the hard way. <laughs> um, are you watching a Jim screen like uh, we are Discord? Yes, oh. I am. Oh, I will uh, switch to do that as well because I will actually fit with seeing, I guess, the same as you do at the same time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was easier for me to manage chat and that because I only have one monitor. And uh, it's nice to see what Jim's kind of working out and thinking <laughs> rather than just me looking at looking at the, the Blood Bowl client. Except when he does this nauseating bullshit. Also, Jim is terrible at controlling the camera. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I have the same issue. That's actually I've, I've, what I what I do is I put the chat on because it, it, I, I find a, a view I like, and then I put the chat on because that means the camera is not moving around. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, which means I occasionally uh, type weird shit to my opponents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I was trying to, and he's also bugging me a little bit. He's uh, not even learn learn skill. He's all the skills on. <laughs> Ooh, he wants to re-roll that. I don't think he can, but that's the square that makes it significantly easier if he gets him down for for Eldril to dodge through, and he does get him down. So we're gonna see the pickup handoff to Eldril in a tackle zone, and then a bunch of threes. But Elder doesn't have a... It's Lona anyway. Who needs a bat? Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, good point. Good point. Probably need to try to make... Is there any scoring threats up from uh, him? Yeah, I think he's got at least that warrior. Yeah, I think just the warrior, actually. So why are we about to take... Is that one... Yeah, two, why are we dodging? Three, four, five, six, Is seven. he an edge? What about... I cannot see from uh, his uh, yeah. camera angle. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, he's just going for it here. Jim's going to feel pretty sad if this works out. He's got the ball in hand. Hand off to Eldril. Nerves of steel. He's got it. What? What? Oh, what? Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh, he's going to make us sit through this. Oh, Jim's going to be furious if this oh, all works out. Oh, he's free. Two GFIs. 
Oh! He's got the first one! And, and there's the early GG! Jim in with the early GG <laughs> <Jim and Jim. laughs> in the first half. And you gotta believe he is livid about that one. Chat muted. <laughs> I can't there. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Well, folks. <laughs> I think he's kidding, Jim. Well, folks, that was uh, that was rough stuff for Jim. He he got he got one removal to stick. The KO did come back, but no surprise there with the babe. Does and, it, uh, think did about Jim's this. KO come back? But think about this if he's uh, holds the apple <laughs> dry for this. <laughs> out chatted, out played. What a fucking memer. Absolutely. That was God tier right there with the chat muted. <laughs> oh, can someone mark his mouse? This thing? Yeah, I was going to say, Jim's problems with the camera, he can't blame on his mouse anymore. Unless he's already crushed his mouse. Oh dear, what what a uh, what a final score there. Jim did Jim did not make any mistakes if you're asking if you're asking me uh, in terms of positional play. And it just he just got elf through. And both KOs did wake up. Jim is up a, a player here. Oh, oh wait, no he's not because there was a bench. What can we say? <laughs> Putting everyone yeah. in as a second egg scoring threat was a brilliant fight. Boy, oh, mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? You seem to know a lot about them, mate. Not now Jim's going to have to score in the face of a wizard. Again, it's not a high-quality elf team that he's up against here. So, you know, with Eldril, that, that changes things a bit. But you, you hate to be down 1-0 facing a wizard on your offense. That's for sure. And against any Edge 4 team, it's worse. It's not like you can do much with the perfect defense, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it's turn eight anyway. Yeah, no, like if Jim has not been there putting up that uh, that front, you could have tried like a uh, avoid mighty blow hits. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Sure. 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 Thirty-seven percent on that one, just a five plus. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's not it's not unreasonable at all. That's yeah. we all tried a lot worse. Um, it's just one of those it's one of those turns where like again, Jim didn't really make any mistakes, but it's one of those turns where you look at it and it's like if they I mean he's gonna win if he gets it, so he should try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's that fifth re roll in. Jim using all of them. Kinder only uh, used one reroll, I believe. Pylon! Maybe two. Maybe he had three and got the three in as well. And there's your first pylon of the game. First stun. Jim really wants to get some elves off the pitch here, just a cheeky anything. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Another pile on coming though. Nothing. This is uh this is a classic Jimmy Fantastic game right here. Looks like he's about to set himself up for a gym foul as well on a loner. Definitely going to be a stun send off. No question in my mind. Not even a stun. Didn't get sent off. Oh, he's already stunned, so.
All right. Well, Jim is uh, running on fumes already after that early GG. Usually you don't want to see that GG come out until about turn 10, 11. Uh, any earlier, it's a little, it's asking much of your, of your team. But, you know, a nice round of LOS blocks could really change things. Uh, but he's got to be so careful with that wizard and, and uh, kick on the team there. You know, all sorts of things could go wrong on this kickoff. Jimmy fantastic shit at this game. All right, and here we go. The offset LOS. Will Jim fall prey to it? No, he won't. He'll handle it well. Visualize, actualize. <laughs> Get lightning bolt fries. D fries, fries. Nah, that didn't. That was nothing. <laughs> I thought I had something to work with there. And it'll be interesting to see how heavy Kinder uh, pushes here against Jim. You know, he can't take, he can't risk too many players here. But he's got the wizard. He wants to just turn him over, go up 2 nothing, and put this one to bed. I don't know Kiandere all that well as a coach, so I don't know how, uh, how aggressive he can get. It sounds like there's a couple of uh, clan folks in chat that might know him better. So speak up. If you think he's coming, if you think he's coming on Jim hard or if he's going uh, to stay a little flaccid. Oh, he's coming hard. Yeah. He's just doing some petting. Yeah. Will Kian dare come hard or will he stay flaccid? Where's Fall Force when you need him? Um, oh, that's good, Steve. He's, it's yeah, it's a bit into Like, he's mainly, he's more known for playing um, goblins, goblins in the cup. Yeah. I'm not sure I've ever seen him really play anything else. Um, I have no clue either. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Levin. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Comme disait Jeremy Akul, la victoire revient toujours au plus compétent. I didn't even see where the kick went. Jim getting nothing. Uh, here all the way uh, back in the it's uh, it's the kick is all the way down in the corner. Oh, that's not what you want against the wizard in hell. <laughs> oh, good lord. Good lord, that's horrible. At least he's got the movement. What is that? That's blood. Oh, and oh, this no, is why no, he no, has no, those. No, oh, come he... on. All the rerolls. Oh, gets yeah. it. There we go. Got it. Can't GFI now. Can't GFI now, Jim. It's fine. You just need to fall back a bit. You don't need to GFI. If you just fold your line a bit yeah. back. Super fun. Oh, I, you can't put that ball on the ground, Lean Gary. He's fine. I think he's. Oh, I guess he's worried about getting bolted, but. Honestly, the bolt, it's, there's no recovery if it scatters 
at, at all favorably for Jim. So I don't think he has to worry about getting bolted in that back corner there. Uh, I mean, it's terrifying. Yeah, I think that's the right call by Jim. Keep people back. The elves are not that fast. They can't just get downfield if he bolts them there. But yeah, but like, where does it scatter out to? Probably within Jim's grasp, more so than where those elves are. They're a long way away. It could happen, but I think Jim will be okay with that. I honestly do. I think uh, unless that ball scatters yeah. into the other pit, uh, other half, Jim's okay with that. I don't think Kian Dare's going to bolt here. No, that's... It's it's still only three yards. It's still three, five in. So yeah. That would be ridiculous aggressive. Even if it goes out, there's no guarantee it's going to be the problem. Yeah. He's taking a long time before his move. He is thinking about it. But I just... I cannot see a world in which that ball doesn't go somewhere... Somewhere behind, you know, that double screen there and uh, really gets him nothing. I could see him trying to, like, go aggressive and see if he can come in between. Between Jim's players and, and the moment seven. Huh. That's so tough. Because he's also a bit deep himself. Now, the I, I think even scarier for Jim... Well, maybe that's not true, but like if the ball didn't go out, there's no one else down there to get the ball if there was an armor break. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so you can just go for a run. But there's so yeah. much to put into that working. Yeah. I I think and also knowing Jim, I think he's just better off making Jim play around the wizard than he is spunking his wizard. Yeah, just the far just the terror of uh, knowing no needs there. Is he thinking about what? No. Okay. He's gonna. He's gonna two D. <laughs> Looks like he was thinking about one Ding through that wrestler to pop a hole. And this could this could create a little bit of a wall of elves between the ball and, and, and help. But I don't think he's going to be able to screen him off so effectively that uh, Jim can't get that ball to safety next turn. It's going to be close, though. You see, there's going to be a lot of GFIs coming out here. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. It's going to go both sides. Oop. Hello, Goliath. Oh, jeez. Now he's got to. The thing is, he does. He does have to be careful about all that open field now, <laughs> behind the elves. Yeah, exactly, Lean Gary. It's close. I think that's about the right amount of pressure, but Jim should be able to get the ball safe here. The real question is now is where that wizard is terrifying. A bunch of free elves. Jim can bring it up and cage. He's got to keep the cage a little bit loose because of that wizard. Yeah, and that's... And that's that's also kind of a problem because it means if you then ball it, you can probably you can probably just still hit hit like a cone and get to the ball. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because he could bolt the ball here and just and just see where the where where the ball ends up landing and then blitz the guy, assuming it's in one tackle zone. Play. 
So where does Jim Blitz is the question. Just one D's Eldrill. Interesting. Oh, he wants the surf. He wants the surf on Eldrill. Good move. Good move by Jim. And no <laughs> Classic. Uh, this this is why you took a 4-3 roll, Jim. I think you got to take that one. Just you got mighty blow. Eldrill doesn't have block. So what time? Yeah, true. Yeah, true. And he gets it. Gets the surf anyway. I don't mind that. It's... Yeah, I think I would have re-rolled it just to be sure, but that was uh, that was the better call. All right, will we see the wizard come out here? He's not going to fireball three, but he might bolt him. If the ball if the ball goes to the left, Jim's probably okay. If the ball goes to the right, he could be in trouble here. Jim would. I, oh, he's not going to... No, he is not going to go for the the wizard yet. What are we looking at? Why? I don't really... I don't know what he's thinking over there with the wrestler down. He hasn't moved yet. Oh, now he has. Are we looking at rest of... I guess we can surf that it. We can double surf it. So you surf yeah. it. You use the... You French you hit into um, the goat that then surfaces the wrestle. And then you can surf the mighty blow guard afterwards if all that works. Yeah. But you're really letting the chaos team get the ball central again. And back into uh, breathing room area <laughs> by doing this. I, I think it's good to get two players out if you can, but. Yeah, exactly, Lean Gary. I'm, I'm with you on that one. I didn't say I wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm with, I'm with you too, then. <laughs> I just said that's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm pretty that's, that's a, I'm pretty sure that is what he's going to do. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Oh, well. I don't think he needs to do that. L'union fait la force, comme on dit. No, nah, I'm at a loss here now. What is this? Is, I think he's making a little bit of meal out of something that was relatively simple. Yeah, yeah, he had that a lot easier, didn't he? With like half the players. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something here. But is he trying to make a three dice? Is he going to surf himself here, or am I being stupid? No. I say doing uh, a. Or is he just going to surf one? No, is he going to yeah, yeah, surf he's himself? Surfing one. He should he definitely could. just be surfing two. Uh, he's he literally going to surf himself. He should be surfing two, yeah. That is he just filled town. in that square wrongly. <laughs> what? He's going to surf himself? Yeah. Oh no, he can, well, he can push up, now. he doesn't have to surf himself. But he only got yeah. one surf instead of two. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Really weird. I think I think he misplayed that. Mm, potentially, but oh, imagine if he'd surfed himself there. Well, now he can't. Oh yeah, I guess he can still. <laughs> <laughs> <Get fucked. laughs> he probably can re-roll that with the four re-rolls. <laughs> Get off my fucking. But it is overtime break. format, so you got to think long and hard about it. And it does. What a disaster that ended up being. He didn't. He, he didn't need a. Uh... <laughs> there was a lot. There was a lot of question marks. Uh, put put on the pitch in that one. And now Jim Jim has open field in front of him. It seems ridiculous. He really didn't need. That, that was quite a lot for. Not much. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I don't know what happened there. He might have he might have brain worms on that one. 
He just he added like three players that he didn't need to add, and he had a double serve. <laughs> it's um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, it it happens. I guess it happens to the best of us. Yeah, it's just yeah, with frenzy. It seemed like a pretty easy play. Just. Yeah, doing yeah, a simple absolutely. without over committing too many players and make sure you didn't like leave easy stuff up. Uh, it would be really tempting for Jim to squish in there, but again, with the uh, with the wizard, he can't really leave too few players around the ball. Maybe. It's I'm 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 like one of my things is I'm I might be too conservative when it comes down to actually using my wizard quite often. Um. Well, when you've got a wizard and you're playing against Jim, I've said this already, but you really can't be too conservative. That wizard increases in power every turn that goes by. Uh, because Jim absolutely hates when wizards get held against him. Now Jimmy may be trying to get him to spunk the, the fireball with not much, uh, not much, uh, in response here. Oh, another kill. Uh, that was just a loner. But the apple is already gone, so I'm not hearing more from him. <laughs> and folks, it's starting to look like that early GG was a really strong gambit by Jim in the first half. Might be able to come back in this one, but again, Wizard and Edge 4 can change the game in a single turn. Yeah, that's what it can. It's, it doesn't take long. Nope. Rightfully, Kiander has no interest, it seems, in Wizarding right now. Um, it just There's just no good recovery. Yeah, that's true, Tom. I mean, this is a heavyweight battle here. This is the CCL playoffs round one. This is where all this is where all the big names come and lose in the first round. You got your Davos of the world. You got your uh, Ungan. Jimmy Fantastics of the world. Don't forget, uh, Ungan is to have the record in most uh, first round uh, losses. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I would have assumed it was. Uh, uh, nope. Either Mr. Page or Ziggy. <laughs> no, uh, to be fair, Ungan has also played like 20 parts, I think it is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, fair enough. He has to. Um, actually, if I could find, it will be a good time to link, uh, link Gary on's uh, lovely spreadsheet. If anybody shouldn't know it. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Dimmy. I haven't even played over 20 games in a single CCL season, to my knowledge. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's probably. Were that you one. on? I'm were going. you on an alt account there or something? Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. One sec. 
Nope. Ça sent la bonne grosse en poignade. Les sorcières, mais ça, l'énergie cinétique. And it's like we've uh, basically reset the offenses and the defensive after uh, <laughs> after whatever that last turn was. <laughs> Vas-y, mon gars, mords l'œil. L'équipe forme une cage autour du ballon. Pas bête comme tactique. Uh, yeah, Jim's definitely playing for overtime. Down one nothing in the face of a wizard <laughs> and <laughs> and edge four else. Yeah, that, that's, that will make all the sense in the world. Yeah, there's no question about it, Steve Money. <laughs> I don't know what his other options would be, but if he scored if he scored any time before turn sixteen, he's probably gonna lose the game in regular time. <laughs> Jim was playing for overtime when he finished the coin toss, to be fair. <laughs> Pretty much. Damn it. Yeah, it's, it does no reason. Like, if he gives him any chances, it's the chance of him just burning himself is so much higher. The risk reward of his going early is just not there. Yeah. It's pretty simple. I was about to say simple math, but it's not really math. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's blood, sometimes blood ball is simple and gives itself. That being said, Kiander has more options. He would vastly prefer to win this in regular time. So I, I feel like unless he's just got no shots on you know no shots using the, the wizard for fuck's sake. he's going for the win in regular time turn, because boy man. does he not want to have to fight like yeah. fight through the chaos for another another los and then another uh you know if he loses the toss especially like have to get the ball off him in overtime it's only going to get worse for him as, as the turns go on Jim, uh, time griefing there? I don't know what happened. Maybe he ran to have a T and a Wii. <laughs> Jesus. And the fucking turn, man. Uh, you didn't hear wine glasses from me, but it might have been. If it was that, it's a metal straw on a glass. Because we're all environmental here. These are metal straws. Yeah, absolutely, Inaria.
Uh, when you're playing, yeah, I mean, you know, they're no, they're not really a whole lot faster than the Chaos. They're a bit faster, but, you know, if you're playing them against Wood Elves, they're pretty damn slow. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Yep, Jim gonna attempt uh, attempt Kiander to roll some two pluses. Yeah, yeah, that's a very, very valid point, Lemon. P uh, PTK might have a uh, difference of opinion, <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, yeah. Delay. In fairness, you can't really call it a delay. It's a, no one was expecting it before like 2023. No one, no one with reasonable expectations of uh, Cyanide's ability to put a game out. That is. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I still operate like a, like I I found I just have been perpetually thinking it's 2019. Like 2020 didn't happen, and the idea that it's 2021 is madness to me. Yep, pretty measured and slow game here, dude. Just uh, chaos trying to bang some elves, and elves trying to not get banged, and uh, we're waiting to see when that wizard comes out. The key, Anarian, will be to always take Fumble Ruski and use that exclusively <laughs> for your passing. That is going to be key. Yeah, absolutely. I look forward to the uh, Fumble Ruski play. That gets a gets a halfling the extra square for for a one turn. Yeah, Kian there, very solid coach, 65.8%, very respectable. But look at that, when his most common team is Goblins and he's at 60%, you know that's uh, that's quality. And Ogres right in there, 53%. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Versus this other shithead here that EAB is talking about. Chaos, chorfs, dwarfs. Yeah, great. You got your 70%. Good job, Jim. Yeah, that's the only one that matters, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you faced him again? Yeah, uh, yes, he has. <laughs> of course he has. If Dimmy's talking in Jimmy's chat, it's probably to hit the space cadet command. So Jim <laughs> might be in a little bit. The way Jim's in trouble here is that he is going to have to advance to be able to score. And that wizard could force him into an uncomfortable situation. Maybe would have liked to be advanced a uh, turn ago to, to kind of cover that up, but maybe he hasn't had that opportunity. Should be fine, but it's a little scary when you're facing that wizard. And, and all the dots and sidestep and wrestle and elves all around yeah. to be annoying. 
Yeah. It's very unlikely Jim will be able to score free. You know, he will have some dice. Yeah. And the question is, enabled, you know, in his ability to get a score, you know, get that ball into scoring range and be protected, will he be able to account enough for the wizard? <laughs> Certainly, Doug. <laughs> ah, great, great film reference, Mizem. Yeah, this is uh, this is getting a little scary. This is going to be a little bit scary for Jim to uh, score here. We'll see how Kean there's uh, final position is at the end of this turn. Push there is real nice for Jim. Wiz can fail, but you gotta you gotta assume it's not gonna <laughs> if you're either one of these coaches. <laughs> Yeah, it can fail and it's heartbreaking. Like when you're elf and you're sitting there finding the right moment and then you just say, Phew. <laughs> Get a room, Marzum, and elf. <laughs> Kiander has not done enough yet to stop a, uh, a kind of a break to the left. But I have a feeling with two more dodges, he will. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I like that. This is going to give Jim the ability to squirt out now. Yeah, at this point, Burner, I think you're right. I don't think he's going mean, to... It depends on how Jim ends his turn here. If there's a surefire, you know, reasonable hit on the ball, Jim's got to take it. But he's going to be able to get over to this right side, and that's going to exclude a couple of elves from the play next turn. Jim's just going to go right through the loner. He's got him down on the pow. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Awesome, That's very true. But, yeah, I mean, he has to have scoring threats. He's got to have several. And he's got to have that ball protected. Excuse me. Was he thinking about a hand now? Move seven, real nice right now for Chaos. Love seeing that. Ooh, but he left himself a GFI. Oh, no, he didn't. That guy can get over. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's incredible what just um, plus movement does for ball carrying. Big time, yeah. I don't have a ton of experience playing chaos, but yeah, having move seven, having move seven on a goat who can blitz himself free if he needs to, it was pretty nice. He's leaving that back door open. Okay, now uh, he's not. It's, it's still it's kind still. of open. 
<laughs> yeah, that's still okay. That'll help close it off a little bit there. And yeah, it's, it's but I'm not sure again. It's P and day even. If it's not yeah, guaranteed it, to work, are you doing it? I just it's a hard wait. it's a hard sell on the wizard right now. I mean, the bolt won't do much for him. I mean, I mean, forcing Jim to make three pluses is never a terrible idea because Jim can't make a three plus to fucking if his life depends on it, as evidenced by this dodge he's about to fail. Oh shit! <laughs> no, never mind. Look at him. <laughs> But yeah, you know the the bolt isn't gonna do much. The fireball. Do you really want to put the game in the hands of a fireball versus having a having the wizard in overtime? I think you just gotta try and get in front of him, make him roll some dice, and not use your wizard. But does he take a bolt? Does he take a four man fireball? Probably gonna be thinking about it for at least thirty seconds. Yeah, absolutely awesome aim. Try and get a reroll out of Jim's hands. Oh, he does bolt. Oh, here we go, folks. The bolt is in, and the ball advances forward. And this is the problem with that bolt. Those elves are not getting the ball this turn. Unless they can maybe get some sort of scatter going. Uh, seems unlikely. What do you think? What do you think, PTK? Mm -hmm. Would you rather have the bolt for OT than that? Yeah, I think so. I must have met. Yeah. Imagine if that if it had gone one square up and that goat had just caught it. I mean, I guess he still has the blitz at that point, but... Plenty of scoring threats here. It does come down to can Jim roll a 1 and 9, though. <laughs> at minimum. Key and Dare being very, very measured here. But really, it all comes down to getting elves in front of the ball and then maybe, yeah, maybe scatter that ball to a better square and try and retrieve it. But I think, I, I think I'd rather have a wizard right now. And I think Jim is, uh, Jim is okay with what happened there. Yeah, I think he is. It's like he knows it's coming. Now at least have a... Fuck off. They'll have it in, in, in fairly good scoring sets. That's but there will be a lot of health in front of that ball. It's... Not going for a scatter either. No, he's going for. Yeah, he's just going to get in front of it, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> that wrestle really going to cause havoc for his ability to do that now. We're going to see a lot of two pluses from a lot of elves here. And he can't even get... Oh, wait. One, two, three. So I think he has to double GFI with that witch to get her over covering the sideline, too. End the turn, for fuck's sake! See, that's not going to be good End enough the fucking turn, man! The witch has to be over there with sidestep. Oh, he's got another elf that can do it, actually. Yeah, that's, that's some options, but yeah. It's... He's still going to need... A, just, this is a, a mess of two pluses to make this okay. Yeah, and there, that's the one he desperately needed. He doesn't get it. He's got to re-roll that. Instantly re-rolls it. And he's in for a shout, and now he's got some nice columns in Jim's way. All right, here we go. This isn't going to be easy for Jim. Fuck's sake, he was probably going to put him in a worse place after if he passed that dodge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
This is gonna be yeah, really tough. Yeah, not now. even be so, not even be surprised if he made it. Was about to make it worse for himself. Yeah, the, if, if only those Chaos Warriors on the left there were one square up. Yeah, that you said that earlier, dog, and that 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 could be helping him they right now. Absolutely rock hard today, and so was my cock. Yeah, right. If you could just use all four rerolls on this one turn. <laughs> I think this is going to come down to some four plus three pluses, though. He's going to do this with Wrestle, which is good enough. C'est un match crucial, Bob. Qu'est-ce que ça fait d'assister à un match aussi important? Bon, bas la couenne, Jim. Repose-moi la question quand le terrain dégoulinera de sang. Jim's gonna, yeah, here it comes. Blitz in with the uh, 2D with Wrestle, and Wrestle's all it takes. Wrestle is a lovely skill. Yep. Good thing but that was Wrestle, a, not blocked. It's a lot of size. Be awful. Can Jim roll a bunch of Miracle Dice to go to overtime? First one Makes is the there. pickup, and he fails the first, uh, first one. Oh. Can't do it, and that's gonna call it. <laughs> and injured for uh good measure yeah, wow <laughs> oh, man I'm, I'm so sad he failed that dodge he was, i'm sure he's gonna make it worse for himself yeah Fuck. unfortunate uh conclusion of that one didn't think that was the right wizard to make but he got everyone back got the columns up and what can you do yeah, it's rough, isn't it? It's rough. It's it's just, it's so hard when you like you don't remove any and like okay, yeah, I moved some, but not enough. He should have been able to get that wall without doing yeah. it. That's the fun part, of course. Is that yeah. wall? He should have been able to do that elf wall without it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have tried to get someone on the other side as well to make it more of a pass option or whatever. But it's hard, isn't it? It's fucking hard. This guy. Covering the backside and people have banged down there. But he had some dudes over there as well. I don't know. It's hard. I really need to just remove more players. Like, he's still got about eight, nine players on the field now, hasn't he? Yep. Six. Yeah. Nine players still. That's just too many. That's too many. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. nine players. It's too many. Certainly. He's I mean, I've got nine as well, I think. <laughs> so, no, I think I had ten. I had 10 the up nine, so... Yeah, I mean, it was very lucky for him to score on you, all things considered, even though the dice weren't that horrible for it. <laughs> yeah, it was, they were <laughs> pretty horrible. Pretty... He did two 1Ds, didn't he? They got pows on them both yeah. after I after I had six yeah. dices without a pow. He did two one dices and got pows on both of them. <laughs> yeah. To even give him a chance in the first half. But, um, you know, he needed some dice, didn't he, really, at the end of the day. His team yeah. was a lot worse. He needed to, to have them not slaughtered. Which he got them not slaughtered. <laughs> two cars and two KO, and he did two KOs and one cars. So, like, only barely outbashed him. Looking crazy. Yeah, piling, piling on, maybe not so broken. Yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, I'd hardly pile it. on. I wasn't really able to <laughs> yeah, pile on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. That was a, a running theme of the chat. <laughs> it was yeah. Frustrations at piling on. Yeah, well, the thing is, El, if you fucking pile on, then you just get fucked, don't you? So, like, it was, yeah, the corner kick made it super hard. Like, he was really lucky to get the perfect kick. I know he had kick, but he was still really lucky to get the perfect kick. And, like, the worst thing was I nearly stopped him scoring, didn't I? That was the annoying thing. Like, if I'd just, if I'd given up on stopping him scoring and just... You know, yeah. fouled on, well, you, fouled. It would have been all right. It, it ended up being uh, turning in really well than him making Elbert a second scoring for it. Yeah. I was, I was looking at him, um, but it, but Elbert could also try to gaze that rest in the middle, and if that works, like everybody can just move. Yeah, they couldn't get that far though, could they? That was the like, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Like, um, they could, could still have made that as Caitlyn scoring range, a proper Caitlyn scoring range. Yeah. 
Well, really, you say that, but he did double one like the first thing, didn't he? That left it completely open. Uh, so. Yeah. So yeah, he, he was gonna he was gonna fuck up whatever he did that turn, wasn't he? With the, where the dice rolled. Yeah, but he could have been lucky. It was a uh, way couldn't he? You know, if you done a block, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I was just yeah. a bit surprised. It seemed really lucky to yeah. build that option. Maybe Zash should have gone for the uh, the pick like the GFI pickup handoff. I thought about doing that um, instead of just standing in front of Eldril. But then I thought, fuck it, if I just stand in front of Eldril, he's got to roll a bunch of dice, and it wasn't. It sadly wasn't even that many dice, was it? But um, I don't know. He got pretty good dice overall, I think, on turn seven and eight, and obviously pretty good to avoid yeah. almost any damage. So there you but go. Look, you look, Jim. It's hard to win a game of Blood Bowl when you get double surf like you did, so... <laughs> no, yeah, that was, that was a massive fuck-up, wasn't it? I like, you know, I really, yeah. wanted to, I really wanted to do that GFI to stop, you know, to stop things happening. I, li I liked putting that GFI there to put the guard and make everything harder for him, but then I thought, well, fuck it, I'm not going to re-roll it. Fuck it, you know, if he does things there. And then he put so many men there and fucked it up. It was amazing. Yeah, but, um, it was like watching him collectively make it worse and worse with every <laughs> player activation. Yeah, yeah, but never mind. Um, thank you very much, anyway. That is anyone. simply not um, true. Skuro the data does not support your assertion. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't help things, can you? Like they're always dangerous wizards, and especially with an elf. So um, there you go. What can you do? Is what it is. Thanks for the bits. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.